have you heard the conspiracy theory around the Mandela effect? About erasing history? Yes. This woman gave the example of the Fruit of the Loom logo. She said the Fruit of the Loom logo used to have a cornucopia in it. So, you know, like the basket with yeah. all the fruit spilling out. Fruit of the Loom was like, we've never, ever had that. And they went so far as to create an illustration of their logo all throughout the years, none of them showing the cornucopia. That's impossible. This chick went so crazy about it. Like, she was talking to her therapist, and her therapist is like, chill out about Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> You're obviously so manic. She was like, I'm not kidding. I've It has a cornucopia in it, and I'm, I'm going to die on this hill. She went through her whole closet and, like, friends' closets and stuff, and she finally found a T-shirt that had the Fruit of the Loom logo with a cornucopia. No in. way! Dang. And she went as far as to go look at the old, like, trademarks and stuff and found an illustration of yep. it, the cornucopia. Dude, what is up with that? Why are they gaslighting us? The theory is it's a giant experiment, worldwide experiment, to see how easy it is to erase history. Mm. I mean, that's 100% probably a real thing. Yeah. And they, they just had certain brands that opt up for it or something. Or if they're like, you know, ugh, man. So, so yeah. be stubborn. For real. Yeah. It's Bernstein Bears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if these people are being serious, yeah. but the, the commenters in, on TikTok seem to think that they are. So what's going on here? Listen, th for the record, Fruit of the Loom never had a cornucopia in their logo, right? This has been researched to death. The companies come out with, you know, not only their, their statements, but you could see their logos throughout the year. No one, no one has been able to provide objective evidence that holds up to scrutiny that there was ever a cornucopia in the Fruit of the Loom logo. The people who have apparently dug up, you know, old shirts and stuff, when you, when you, under examination, those cornucopias were drawn in or added later. Uh, they were not part of the original logo. They're fake, basically. And they, the flute of the loom example, I don't know why they're using that as evidence. That was not a, a corporate logo. That was an album cover where somebody copied what they what they remembered to be the logo again that was just a Mandela effect supporting another Mandela effect right so that was not even Fruit of the Loom so there's no objective evidence that Fruit of the Loom ever had a cornucopia now I remember it that way too I'm subjected to the same kind of memory problems that everybody is but the the answer here is simple and known and well and well established scientifically human memory is terrible we tend to fuse memories we alter memories and our confidence in them doesn't predict how accurate they are. That's something that's really interesting. It doesn't matter how certain you are that a memory is accurate. That does not predict that that memory is, in fact, accurate. Now, the cornucopia, that imagery, that icon, literally goes back to ancient Greece and Rome. It's been with us forever, right? You, you have been exposed to it numerous times, times you don't even remember. That imagery of the cornucopia behind the fruit is, is part of your mental you know, map of the world. And so it makes perfect sense that we fuse that icon, that iconography that we're so familiar with, with the Fruit of the Loom logo, which is, again, the fruit and the brown leaves, but, you know, but not the cornucopia. Easy mistake for our brains to make. It happened to a lot of people. And that's it. That's, it. that's all the explanation you need. You don't need to hypothesize any magical Mandela effect other than human memory. Now, what's interesting about this video is that it represents kind of a shift in the pseudoscience of the Mandela effect. Now, originally, it was supposed to indicate that we are shifting into alternate realities, right? That you remember this from another unit, from another multi uh, parallel universe where it did have a cornucopia. Uh, but now the narrative is that this is a worldwide experiment on manipulating our memory of history. That's a new, a new angle to this. So I always like when people say they are doing this or this is sort of a, a, a giant worldwide experiment, experiment, who's doing this exactly? Who has the power to do this? Why are they really doing it? What are they actually learning about it? Um, so that's, at the end of the day, a lot of the times when, this is true of the flat earthers and a lot of things, where someone is trying to build a case for some silly conspiracy. It's not about the conspiracy itself. It's about proving that there can be a conspiracy. Because if they can lie, if they can lie to us about the Fruit of the Loom logo and rewrite history, that proves they can do it about more important things. That's what it's really about, supporting this childish, worldwide conspiracy, they, you know, powers that be kind of narrative, 
which is just so engrossing. It's so you know woven now. It's so pervasive on social media. That's the narrative. That's why people obsess about the fruit of the loom.